Well, hi, my name is Christine Keck, and I serve as a volunteer on the Chamber of Commerce of Southwest Indiana's Government Affairs Committee. Today, I have the pleasure of interviewing Angela Kaler Lindsay, who is a candidate seeking election to the Office of County Council at Large. Yes. Please know that the same set of questions will be used for all candidates running for this office. Welcome, Angela. Thank you, Christine. Okay, let's get started. So please state your name, the office you are seeking, and your current position or employment. Okay. My name is Angela Kaler Lindsay. I am currently the county council elected representative at large. We have three at large representatives, um, and I currently hold one of those positions. So I'm seeking to be reelected. And uh, my current position in employment is I am a Spanish teacher at Cedar Hall Community School. Um, and then I also have um, my own business as well. Great. Thank you. And do you live inside or outside the city limits? I live inside the city limits. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, do you support the Curtin Shepherd Initiative? Please explain your answer. Okay. Um, Kern and Shepherd Initiative is a very long document, <laughs> as I discovered when I looked it up. And, um, you know, I think that the great thing about that is it shows the forward thinking of the governor um, in putting forth the idea that we need to make some changes in the way that we govern. Um, as a Republican, I've always supported looking at ways to streamline local government, which is exactly what Kern and Shepherd does. Um, so, in, in a nutshell, as far as the idea of streamlining local government, yes, I think that's a good idea to always, I think as elected officials, we always need to be looking at, is there a better way, is there a more efficient way that we can run our government? Terrific, thank you. Government does not create jobs, but does create conditions that make additional jobs more or less likely. What conditions or economic development tools would you like to see improved upon or added in order to stimulate economic growth, create jobs, and retain current employers in the Evansville, Vanderburg area? Well, um, currently on County Council, we work with um, organizations like GAGE, the Growth Alliance uh, for Greater Evansville, which is a fantastic organization. I know it's gone through um, a reworking in recent years. Um, I previously served 14 years on City Council, so I remember the beginnings of that, and I, I was um, out of office for four years, and so during that four-year time, Gage has really evolved into a, a really great organization to bring um, bring more businesses to Evansville, which is what we need to do. Um, love what is being done now with Convention and Visitors Bureau, with our new board over there. I think that um, we're seeing really positive things with the new marketing campaign. And so, really our job on County Council though is, is, is primarily working with the budget. So, I feel like my best role is to do everything that I can to be educated and knowledgeable about tax phase-ins. That's, um, that's a big important part of what we do on County Council to make sure that we're helping to make it easier for businesses to get started up and that that is attracting jobs to the Evansville area. So, you know, I, I will always continue to support the tax evasions, engage in those organizations, and, and work with them just whatever capacity I can on County Council. Great, thanks. What do you consider to be the top transportation and infrastructure priorities for Evansville and Vanderburg County, and what plans do you have for funding them? And, and you know, I-69 is always one of the top things um, that, that comes to mind. I recall probably first hearing of I-69, uh, probably about 60, no, not 69 <laughs> years ago, I'm not that old, but, um, but it has probably been in the works for about 69 years, so I think it's exciting to be able to support where we can um, with County Council, um, just encouraging a lot, a lot of times that's our role on County Council is just encouraging um, that, uh, the agencies and helping where we can. Um, our big funding uh, impetus or, or role that we have at County Council is funding the, like the local roads and streets and so that that's an important area that that's our primary job is to make sure we have a 64 million dollar budget that we deal with on County Council and a big part of that is making sure that we have enough to see that our residents have streets to drive on so you know if I had to say number one for me as a local official you know, I know that's what residents talk to me about, that they want to make sure that our, our local infrastructure is good, it's up to date, it's surfaced, they're not driving through potholes. 
So, you know, that's just as important as making sure that we're working together with all the agencies to have I-69, to have, you know, 41 corridor, have I-64, all of those areas around working together and doing what we can. All right, thank you. What would you do to encourage the construction of the I-69 bridge over the Ohio River between Evansville and Henderson? And again, that kind of falls somewhat in with the previous question as far as I-69. Um, and, and our role, you know, as I say, on, on county councils, primarily we're the, you know, the budgetary arm of the county. So our role is to make sure the roads and streets are there. I do, um, and the money's there to, to, to do those kind of things. So the, the most important thing that we can do on county council is make sure we're prioritizing, that we're um, looking at the biggest areas and seeing where the greatest need is so we can get the biggest bang for our buck. Because there's never enough money to go around. There's always more that needs to be done. Um, and, the, and that bridge is a good example. We do actually have a seat with the uh, Metropolitan Planning Organization. And so I actually sit on that um, as one of my roles on county council. So um, I, it's been interesting to see the workings between the entire region and, and uh, that's important that we maintain that good working relationship with Ward County and with, with Henderson and, and uh, with Evansville and our whole area looking at that as a whole. Great, thank you. What actions locally do you propose to ensure that local government will maintain the level of service on behalf of the taxpayer but maintain a balanced budget? And, and boy, isn't that always the thing we're always trying to do. You know, we do that in business, we do that at home. Um, I see that in education in my role as a teacher. But, you know, the biggest thing is, is that careful planning and prioritization of the budget and working together. Um, we try to come in and work with the county office holders and elected officials and department heads um, and let them know, you know, this is the amount of money we have. If you can let us know what your priorities are in your office, then we can better distribute those dollars so that they can work. Um, you know, we know that, that our revenue stream is not what it once was coming into the city and into the county. So we have to really look at and carefully prioritize work with our office holders um, just, just to make sure that we're working together to get the budget where it needs to be. You know, that's what we're charged to do. These are taxpayers' dollars and we're charged to spend them to have the services and let people have great quality of life and smell. Great, thank you all. Angela, we greatly appreciate your time today. And uh, if you have a, a campaign website or contact information that you would like to share, we ask you to do that now, please. Okay, great. Um, I do have a website. It's pretty simple. It's citizensforangela.com. So citizensforangela.com. Um, some of them tease me about having three names, and so we just went simple on the website. Um, and then the email that's contacted is the best for me is, um, it's actually A. Kaylor Lindsay, and so to spell that out, A K O E H L E R L I N D S E Y um, at MaryKay.com. And so that gets it to the right place with the right name. <laughs> well, great. Thanks. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, and I was going to say, um, and, I, and I have some information I'll leave with you just as far as resumes and some other information, but you can find all that on the website. Well, great. Well, and thanks again for your participation. Please note the content of this video interview and all the candidate interviews are only for authorized use by the Chamber of Commerce of Southwest Indiana. And thanks again. Well, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity.